Now let's take a look at the bayer villiger reaction, and it does a couple of different things. Most commonly, you'll see it converting ketones into esters, as in the first reaction here. Uh, but it'll technically also convert aldehydes into carboxylic acids, although you've learned, to, although you've learned another way to do that. So that's the second one here. Um, but the reagent here is just a peroxy acid, which uh, again, you might look as RCO3H. Uh, you might remember that MCPBA is one of the most common, or probably the most common, uh, peroxy acid, or sometimes just called per acid for short. Uh, but what we're going to do here, and let's look at the aldehyde one here first. Aldehyde to carboxylic acid is, if you look at the carbonyl carbon, it's going to break one of the adjacent bonds, and it prefers hydrogens. So we're going to break this bond right here, and it's just going to insert an oxygen in between, and that's why we now have a carboxylic acid. Now, if we look at the ketone on the other hand, so no hydrogen to break, so strong preferences for hydrogen. After that, though, it's just whichever side is more substituted. So if you notice here, we've got a tertiary carbon. This side, we've got a secondary. So we're going to break the bond on the side of the tertiary carbon and insert the oxygen right in there. So in between this carbon and the tertiary carbon, the carbonyl and the tertiary, that's where the oxygen inserts itself. And so I chose this example because it's easy to see. In this case, we're going from a five-membered ring to a six-membered ring. But again, there's nothing that says uh, that this has to involve a ring at all. So, but let's go and take a deeper look at the mechanism here for the reaction uh, converting the ketone to the ester. So in the mechanism here, the first step, it turns out, is just nucleophilic addition. It's the outside most oxygen here of the peroxy acid that's going to be doing the nucleophilic addition. So it attacks the carbonyl, push the pi electrons up to the oxygen, and we get this lovely intermediate. So and in this case, this oxygen is proximal to this hydrogen, uh, and uh, this hydrogen being on the positively charged oxygen is fairly acidic, and we're just going to deprotonate, kind of an intramolecular deprotonation there. So that leads us to this intermediate here, and so from here, we're just going to push these electrons back down, reform our double bond. So, and here's where the funkiness occurs. So in this case, we now have this bond doing what we call a migration. So this bond's not broken, so notice I'm going to highlight that in blue here. So this bond right here is this bond right here. But the new bond we're making here, so we're breaking this one and making this one. So that's kind of what's going on here. Uh, so we'll get, and that's it, that's the whole mechanism. So now we've got our ester product. So, and then we've also formed our carboxylic acid and we'll just kind of throw that away or uh, at least purify it off at the very least and reuse it. Um, but that's kind of the whole mechanism. So this is your bayer villiger oxidation. And again, the big key, ketones to esters. And again, technically aldehyde to carboxylic acid, but you're not as likely to see that.